Well, shit. It seems this week we had a bunch of really shitty news. From Star Trek's new trailer, which I'm going to get to in a while. Britain with Jeremy Corbyn, although that was last week. And this week we Theresa May and her censorship, censorship plans. What the fuck is going on with the world? The just death or destruction over censorship and no more porn. What the fuck? Really? You either get a, a seriously incompetent Prime Minister or a, a British version of Kim Jong-un or instead, instead of calling England, let's call it Iron England. You know, Iron, ah, that didn't sound so good. Uh, my failed artipathy joke. And that is why this week sucks. Even my jokes are bad. No, even worse than usual. On the other side, I've noticed that if I listen to Shady Lay, uh, bad news can actually slide in easier. While I found out that my mouse scroll, scroll wheel was fucked, I listened to Chardelay. The news actually went in. The bad news, like a huge log of pure disappointment, s managed to slide in like a lube. Chardelay acts like a lube for, for bad news. That is amazing. I'm being the useless idiot that I've always been, I thought of, my, of a new segment, something that I'll debate regarding the morals of the society, the things that afflict a lot of people, S stuff that leaves people without sleep during the night, something so deep and controversial, I'll argue and say my opinion why I'm against or in favor of something. So, welcome to the new segment. Mm, okay, I, actually, I don't have a name for this. I was, uh, I'll have to think about it later on. Anyway, here it goes. Pa -pa -pa -pa. Pretend that's the intro. So someone asked me, are you in favor of calling fries or French fries? And why? Well, here's my humble, very humble, actually not that humble opinion. I believe that it should be named fries. I'm in favor of fries. Because the simple reason is, is that uh, french fries, it's a strong food. Something that not only kills your hunger, it makes you crave for more. It's something so delicious that rarely anyone hates it. But with french fries, we see something weak. Something that gives up like nothing, just like the election. You get something strong and something weak, and they go for the weak, and they give up, they surrender. That's why I'm in favor of calling fries. But on the, the other hand, French fries mean something sexy and beautiful, and fries are that. So that means I'm in favor of calling it French fries. No, fries. Actually, I don't know. Why should I call it French fries or fries? Yeah, good question. Because the fries are everything. It's like, like a physics problem. The fries and French fries are the same thing at the same time. It can be weak and strong, beautiful and ugly. Oh my God, I found, uh, I found out the perfect food. The food that is just perfect. That it's multiple things at the same time except being sweet but then again i've already seen people eating fr uh, fries or french fries with ice cream which on the other hand makes it sweet oh my god that was the biggest discovery of this century okay moving on okay now i'm gonna talk about star trek the the actual reason i'm creating this video and I'll link it um, on the comment section or I'll make it a clickable link on the video uh, for the trailer. I'll explain why first what Star Trek is for me. 
and what it always has been and so you can understand why I'm quite worried about Star Trek Discovery. First and foremost, Star Trek has always been a sum of all, of all its parts. It's the ship and the crew, the captain, the first officer, the comms officer, the engineer, all that together. And the story always focused on one or the other character in the whole season. It's like everyone was important. But I've been reading um, previews and stories and articles about the Star Trek saying they are going to focus mostly on the first officer. And that started to worry me a lot, even at the first time when I read it. Because Star Trek was never about one person, one single individual. It was always about everyone. So, I'll quote a venerable philosopher, someone that I admire a lot, Spock. Ship out of danger. Yes. Don't breathe, Admiral. It was logical. The needs of the many outweigh the means of the few. Or the one. Solution. Spock. I have been and always shall be your friend. Oh, this scene gets me. Every damn time. Ah, so beautiful. One of the best and one of the saddest movies ever made of Star Trek. Ah, I love it. Wrath of Khan. Beautiful. Where was I? I knew there was something I had to talk about. There was a point. Oh, right. You see, it's always about the many in Star Trek. It, it's never about the few or the one. And that's why I think if the show follows up what I've been reading in the articles and what they've shown on the trailer, it will be worrisome. And and my inner Trekkie feels cheated or worried. But at the same time, I'm excited that there is a new series coming on and something that's been off from TV since 2005. That's like 12 years since, uh, since they showed a Star Trek series on TV. A new one, instead of syndication. And that's something that we really should look, look forward to. And the scenes, the filming, the, the special effects looks, looks amazing on the trailer. It really is. And, and, and I think the new design, and the new design of the Discovery, it's not that bad as I, as I thought. It seems like a mix from a um, Klingon Birth of Prey with a normal Starfleet ship, the saucer and all. It doesn't look that bad watching it on the trailer. So I'm cautiously optimistic that the show might actually be good. But at the same time, I'm extremely worried about what I've read and seen. And this, this is why I really, really hope I'm wrong. And at the same time of wishing that I am wrong, I also can't wait to see it. On the other hand, there's always the Orville, which feels a bit more Star trek -y, Even though with a depraved sense of humor like mine. <laughs> and I like the trailer too. It's a mix match between Galaxy Quest and other parodies and Star Trek. It's really, 
It's really not bad. And when the movie came out, the Galaxy Quest was really, really funny. And I loved it. And I am uh, tracking for, I don't know, Six of Us 2 or 3. I remember watching Star Trek. I've always been fascinated by the science and the stories behind it. It was what inspired me to pursue a science degree and what managed to make me wish I had taken theoretical physics or astronomy instead of biology. But you should really look forward to, to this one. At least as Seth MacFarlane, and he is really good at what he does. Especially with Family Guy, American Dad, and, and what was it, the Cleveland Show, I believe? I forgot. Either way, it, it should really, really be good, and, and I'm really, really looking forward to that one. If Star Trek ends up being a bunch of shit, which I hope I'm wrong, at least we have that one. And this video is um, also an, an attempt by me of using a new format. This one doesn't require any writings. Everything is coming out of the top of my head. So, this explains why I forgot a few things. This reminds me, one day I was shopping for pants and... And I found it. It's really kind of hard to find pants when, when you are high maintenance like myself. You know, big ass. And fat. Yes, I'm fat. I'm a learned whale. Really quite a striking difference from the character you see there. But anyway... Fuck fat people. Yeah, fat bastards! <laughs> anyway, I found the pads and I was going to try it, so I went to the changing rooms and... try it for myself. And voila! It fit! And I was so proud of myself. I took it out and went straight to the cashier to buy it. Then I noticed, somehow, the AC was higher than normal, and I was feeling really, really fresh down there. It was really kind of nice, airy. I never thought to myself, ha, huh, they must have turned up the AC. It was really needed. You know, it was hot. It was a hot day. And I was walking and then suddenly, one of the people who worked there uh, asked, uh, asked me to stop and told me, I think you're forgetting something. And I was surprised, and I said, no, I'm not. Hey, I found myself a new, a new pair of pants, and it's actually quite a good one, too. It fits nicely. And then she looks at me and points down. And that's when I look and I see I actually forgot to put my old pants on. <laughs> oh. Oh. Anyway, toodles!